for a polymer designed for a room temperature application, the strain rate is very important. So I like to demonstrate this with a silly putty. This is my glitter sil silly putty. And we all know we've played with silly putty and, and we know that it will stretch and it's very ductile, isn't it? Well, that was a slow strain rate experiment that I just did. If I take the same silly putty, I haven't switched anything out, and now I deform it at a high strain rate, it's much more brittle. And if I could pull it even faster, okay, you can get to a point, I can pull it so quickly that it barely deforms before it breaks. And so those mechanical properties at play are completely different in those two strain rate scenarios. So polymers, they um, actually has very unique properties. First of all, they are very rate, strain rate dependent. So if you um, pull a polymer fast, faster than uh, very fast, they behave very differently than, for example, pulling them slowly. And they are very sensitive to temperature as well. So the other thing that I find really exciting about my work is the potential to help people. That can be soldiers in the field who need lightweight body armor, and polymers are currently the main protecting component against a ballistics in the field. So Kevlar is a polymer. Um, I'm interested in the stiffness, the yield strength, and the ultimate strength. Um, what I do is I test the material at, at a variety of strain rate to see, because the polymer's property changes with the strain rate. So I do uni axial tensile tests on them at different loading rate and plot the stress strain curves and compare them. Yeah. On the bio side, I'm making an artificial ligament that can actually grow and remodel and restore One, two, native three. anatomy and function. And kids are the ones who are blowing out their ACLs at the highest rate currently. Probably if, if you're a 20 year old college student listening to this video, you probably personally know someone your age who has blown out an ACL. Once you tear that ligament, if you don't restore the biomechanics properly, there's a very good chance that knee will develop osteoarthritis within a decade. So you're looking at a 30 year old who's got osteoarthritis. And these are the kinds of things we're trying to prevent. I'm very excited about the prospect of getting this into people and improving their quality of life. When you look at the results that are so good or that actually inspires you, it's very exciting, I think, just by looking at the result. Undergraduates in material science really need to appreciate the mechanical properties of polymers because they're everywhere in, in our world we interact with them from trash bags that we want to be tough to high-tech polymers on aircraft, in automobiles, on soldiers in the field. Relying on these materials to have particular properties in the application and those properties depend on the strain rate and temperature. So polymers are viscoelastic You've learned about stress relaxation. Those same um, aspects of the polymer that provide stress relaxation give us the strain rate dependence.